And so I usually come out here during the pre-development process, th throughout the three year time frame that it took us to actually close on the construction loan, I was out here roughly every one to two weeks in the, in the spring, summer and fall, cutting grass, picking up trash. And even in the winter time, I come out here and do a little bit of shoveling to make sure that these sidewalks were okay for the neighbors to, to walk up and down on. And so once again, just giving me an opportunity to make sure that the community knows that the property is being tended to, it's not being forgotten, it's not gonna turn into an eyesore. And to me, that's extremely, extremely important when it comes to the development process as a whole. What's up everybody? Eddie Carrington, Mayor of Flux City. And I am extremely excited to share with you that we are starting demolition on the ribbon. And as you can see behind me, uh, we have the heavy equipment. Uh, we have a lot of uh, activity happening on site. What we're doing behind me is we're converting an old one-story bank into a three-story mixed-use facility that's going to house retail on the first level and 18 residential units up top, right? So it's a lot of stuff that we're going to be accomplishing, including adding an elevator, putting a kitchen on the first floor. So a ton of things that I'm excited to really share with you with regard to the, the overall experience and, and, the, and the journey that we're going to be taking over the next 17 months. This is definitely a monumental moment for me as a developer that is going through a process of um, leveling up from single family residential projects to larger commercial projects such as what you see behind me. This is going to be content that's going to be invaluable for real estate developers or individuals who may only have a comfort with residential units to be able to level up and take on larger projects such as what you see behind me. Right now we're inside of the ribbon and this is probably not going to look like this in the next few days. We're going to be tearing down a majority of the walls, the roof, uh, the support structure that you see here. And we're going to be erecting a new support structure, a structure due to the fact that we're going vertical, right? Uh, and so what that means is, once again, we're going to have retail on the first level and we're doing two residential units up top. When I first came up with the vision of this space or this development, I initially only wanted to keep this as a retail for one floor building. And after having conversations with the community, one of the things that the community had a demand for was affordable living. And so, you know, after we did our community engagement, before even submitting our RFP on this project, we were able to gather a number of different recommendations with regard to this pro property and decided that the mixed use approach would be a lot better for uh, the community due to the fact that there aren't any residential units on the East Warren commercial corridor at the moment. And so this gave us a unique opportunity to really take this development up a notch and provide the community not with, not just with something that they can enjoy on the first level, but also something that tenants that are looking for affordable living and affordable housing to be able to have access to as well. I actually enjoy doing the cleanup and uh, even the yard on the projects that I develop is due to the fact that it gives me an opportunity um, to, to be seen by the community, right? It gives me an opportunity to even have conversations with the community because in a lot of scenarios, they stop and they ask, you know, what's happening with that project? And who's, who's the owner of that project? And, you know, that gives me an, an, an ability to, to kind of tell them and, you know, give them updates and, and in a way, it's uh, community engagement, maybe not necessarily on a grand scale, but, you know, being present at the site, even when it comes to things like picking up garbage and, you know, cutting the grass allows for us to to really have an opportunity to engage with the community in a different format that is, is not similar to, to, to the other uh, you know, options that we typically do. So we're extremely excited to have found a retail tenant that is going to service the East English Village based off of their demands. And 
you know, this was a process that took roughly two and a half years to identify the right retail tenant. And, you know, one of the things that we wanted to approach this development in the format of is a ground up approach. And what I mean by that is a lot of developers develop projects that have residential and retail by looking at the residential component as being the primary component of the project and looking at the retail side as a secondary goal to you know achieve i.e find a tenant for the retail once they've finished construction on the project whereas with us we wanted to make sure we had a retail tenant in place at this moment and once again we're extremely excited to have done so because community that lives in east english village and the surrounding areas aren't going to necessarily engage with the residential units up top they're looking at you know figuring out ways to better engage with the first level streetscape and that's where the you know the the retail spot comes in play and so you know one of the things that you know we pride ourselves on with regard to this project is the fact that we were able to find that retail component to be able to service the community the right way really really excited to share uh, this overall journey with you and over the next roughly 17 months particularly with this project there's going to be a lot of content that i am going to share with you that gives you an inside view of what real estate development actually entails when it comes to commercial projects in this format. More content to come, so stay tuned and make sure you subscribe, like, and we'll see you in the next video.